I'm here today uh, in Caversham with East West Detox with Mike Sarson, who I've known for a while. Mike has been running a program where he takes drug users out to Thailand to offer a very alternative uh, form of treatment, which seems to be incredibly successful. Um, and yet, it doesn't seem to be getting any real support from the government, from the local PCT. So, we've been looking at it today. I've brought James Brokenshire, who's uh, the Shadow Minister responsible for it today, to have a look. And I've also spoken to some drug users. I, indeed, I've also spoken um, via Skype to Sarah, I won't give you any more details than that, who I met three years ago when I first um, um, was told about uh, this particular treatment. And I've got Mike with me. I might just say some of the, tell people some of the challenges that you're facing, you know, trying to get this off the ground, trying to get people to support it. Well, unfortunately, because I can't tick all the boxes, um, there's a lot of resistance um, from people who have got funds to what we do. And because we're not conventional in the sense of we're not medical and um, you can look at it all scientifically um, because we treat the whole person. Um, we take, take people um, on, on a journey um, to somewhere where they feel safe but it's a complete culture change and it, actually the shock of actually the culture change makes you think, my goodness, there's something else to, to life than just taking the drugs. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a spiritual and a physical journey, mm, as I understand very much it. So. Yeah. I mean, they're sort of, yeah. they've got to make the choice themselves that they want to mm. change, but then they get some initial sort of preparation here, That's right. and then they go over to, to Thailand to, to a monastery, yeah. and they're sort of physically purged, as it were. Yeah, they take a herbal, a herbal treatment which purges all the poisons and toxins, and it, you can actually physically see it, and it, it, it purges all the, the, the past, as it were, and they, they take on this, this new role. It's like a very ritualistic cleansing process. Um, and that they also take a vow never to take the, the drugs or alcohol again for the rest of their lives, and um, go through a process of, of actually dealing with the demons once and for all, rather than suppressing them with medication, which is what we tend to do in the, in the West. We've got, we've got Steve actually with us, um, if we could just get Steve. Steve. Um, Steve has actually been through the process, he was, uh, if you don't mind, uh, no. talk to Steve. Steve has been through the process, just tell us about your experience of going out to Thailand and, and how you felt and what difference has made to your life. Um, well, I've been an ingrained amphetamine user, um, I was rapidly killing myself and going nowhere. Um, um, probably would have ended up in prison again. Um, I met Mike and embarked on this journey to um, to Thailand and um, after an initial letdown from the Reading Dat about funding, um, I got refused funding, um, I moved to Newbury and I was lucky enough to be picked up by New uh, West Park's Dat who funded my journey. Um, I went to Thailand, um, I was at the treatment centre for Oh, seven weeks it was, and um, I had to come back early because of the impending birth of my son. Um, and uh, during that time, that seven weeks, I learned a lot about my, about my own personal um, situation, about my, you know, what's gone on in my life and how to deal with it. And and um, took the medicine, which um, isn't the best medicine in the world, but. Um, his mother says, if it tastes bad, it's good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I... But you've been clean ever since, and that's, what, two, three years now? Well, like since 2000 and, yeah, since I got back. Yeah, so, and your life has turned around? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm now, um, I, I belong to a church in, in New Bray, Glendale Church. Um, I've turned my life around, I'm a Christian, and I'm, I'm actually being baptised on Sunday. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank Steve. you. That's brilliant. So, there we have it. I mean, we'll have a quick word with, with James um, about how he feels, uh, what he's heard this morning, and uh, so we'll talk to you again in a minute. Okay, we've just been to the East West uh, Detox Clinic in Caversham, and I took James Brokenshire, Shadow Minister, to look at a particular scheme a particular choice that they could make, drug users could make in their treatment. And really, I just want to know from James what you think about it, what, what your mm. thoughts are. I think one of the themes that came through very clearly is the fact that a lot of drug treatments aren't working at the moment, that so many people are simply maintained in addiction, swapping one illegal drug for merely a prescribed drug. And so it's not really being effective. The costs of the NHS are going up and up each year. 
and people aren't leading fulfilling lives because they're still stuck mm. on drugs. And the project this morning is quite interesting. It's about uh, dealing with the physiological, the, the aspects, the medical aspects of being addicted, but also some of the psychological things about how to take your life forward. And so I think it's those combination of themes that seem to be essential if you're going to get an outcome that mm. is positive, that gets people clear of their drugs and allows them to actually lead fulfilling and positive lives. And frankly, that's where our policy should be focused. Mm. So do you think there's a place for these types of treatments within the, the, the mix of what's on offer? I think what we need is uh, a range of different options available to drug addicts. I go up and down the country talking to people going to drug centres and you get this sense of frustration from people who really actually do want to change their lives. They don't want to be addicts, they don't want to be on drugs. I feel quite frustrated that the options available to them are quite limited. Clearly this is something that is still at its early stages, requires validation, needs a lot of checks done on it. But I'm certainly going away with some ideas, some thoughts, and so it's been an interesting visit this morning. Well, James, thank you very much for coming Thanks, to Reading Rob. East and looking at the project. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Cheers.